Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my fourth instalment for my Christmas DIYs. Every single Friday into the wrap of Christmas, I'm gonna be doing a different DIY for you. Today I am making some country-esque Christmas decor. Think pigs and farm-milled animals crossed with Christmas candies, all kind of rustic and fabric -y. So yeah, if you want to see how I made those, then just keep on watching. All of my um, decorations for today's video are very country-esque. They are very candy themed as well. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is this little decoration here. All of them are made out of fabric today, but this one here is a no-sew. It's definitely one for everyone to enjoy. Really, really simple and easy to make, but really effective as well. Love the fabric detail on here. I think it just gives it a little rustic kind of country twist. So I'm going to show you how I put together these little candy decorations. What you're going to need for this DIY is actually just some scrap cardboard I'm just using this from a bit of packaging that I had come through and you're going to need to cut three circles if you're using a thinner kind of cardboard box I would recommend cutting probably about five or six but this is a doubled wall one so it's really really thick it's kind of like double the amount of like corrugated cardboard and you're just going to want to cut this into some circles like I said I'm going to be using three because this is quite thick so just like so cut in circles I don't know how this Lauren, how big is this? Probably about four centimetres, bigger than, you know, a 50p or whatnot. And you just want to cut three in the exact kind of same size. Okay, so my circles are all cut. They're not perfect by any means. It's absolutely fine. You ain't got to be perfect at it. But you just want to hot glue these kind of together. If you don't have hot glue, then um, a double-sided sticky tape would work. Um, what else? Just normal glue. <laughs> if you haven't got a hot glue gun, though, just get yourself one. Honestly, Poundland sell them for like two pounds, I think. They are a craft kind of supplies staple. They really are. So sticking those together, you've got a nice, a big, chunky kind of circle. Next up, you're going to need a square of fabric. I have this pre-cut. It is around about, I don't know, um, a five inch square, I'd say it's like a charm pack kind of size. Um, so 12 centimeters square. So almost like three times the kind of size that you're using on this. So this will go in the middle and then you get the two bits of the candy on the outside. What you're going to want to do is just place this into the middle of the square. Then you're going to want to wrap that circle with the fabric just in the center. So in the center of the square, add a little bit of hot glue onto the circle, place the first bit of fabric onto that, hold it down, press it down into that, and then get your other piece of fabric on the other side. You might want to just roll in the raw edge on this so that it's nice and neat and just press that bit of fabric down into the hot glue and again just wait for that to dry. So now you have something that looks a little bit like this. Basically a circle of cardboard inside a rectangle of fabric just inside there. Little tube, almost like a toilet roll tube of fabric with a bit of cardboard inside. Next we're going to need to pinch together the two sides to make the candy. So what you're going to want to do is just take some cotton. I'm just using normal cotton thread. You can use something a little bit more fancy if you want something like a little bit more decorative, maybe some ribbon, maybe some twine. But the way that I like to do it is just using some thread. So if you just tie this into a knot, you'll have a big loop and you want to loop that over the end. And then you can pull tight around the kind of circle. It will slip off and just kind of gather it up. To secure it, I just wrap it around a few times, then just tie it in a knot does get a little bit fiddly especially if you have long nails so you might want to use string you might want to use twine but I think using thread like just cotton thread it just kind of hides it a little bit more you could use um fishing wire if you have that but yeah it just kind of ties together the end do you know what I mean so if you do that on both sides yeah a little candy there we go and with both sides done your candy a little decoration is then complete so you can just add this into your tree just slot it in the branches what I'm going to do however is just add a little kind of like um tie onto the top a little kind of hanging loop so what I like to do is I just get the needle get some thread on there like so and I will just poke this through the fabric and then pull up 
just really as simple as that. I know it said it was a no sew. I wouldn't call that a sew. It didn't even make a full stitch. Just post it through the fabric. Then the cotton thread is through there. Just tie it in a knot and then just cut the kind of excess off the very top. And then you have a really, really simple just um, loop on the top there, nice and thin, and that will hang really, really nicely. We do have, you know, the little fold of fabric on the back there. So definitely be making sure that it faces this way just to hide that a little bit. It's not anything, you know, major, just that little fold there, but look at that a little candy decoration for your tree i do absolutely love these will be using them on my own tree in the kitchen this year so yeah that is the first diy so for the second diy i'm going to be making a fabric pig well i'm going to be trying to because i've been making a load of 3d pigs this week i will just show you them actually um here they are i'm actually going to be using these in my own christmas decor um i did show them a little bit on on Instagram and stuff so if you're not following me over there then be sure to but I just want to make some kind of flat ones so in order to do this you're going to need to make yourself a pattern this <laughs> is a pig shape if you are like me and you don't quite know what a pig looks like I'm sure you do um but I made a decoration in this shape and I was like oh yeah that's a pig that's nothing like a pig. So I made it and I was like, I can't work out why this looks like a cow. <laughs> and I figured it's just because of this bit on the pig. So whether you want to make a cow or a pig, then this pattern and this technique is gonna work for you, just depending on, you know, what shape you make it. So for the pig, you're gonna want to draw something like this on a bit of card. And then for a cow, <laughs> something like this apparently i did not learn my farmyard animals right i don't know what i was thinking um but yeah i'm gonna make myself a pig today so i'm gonna have a pig and a cow so in order to do this you're going to need some fabric the fabric that i have been using is this it's a like cotton linen type fabric really nice kind of natural material with printed red stars on it's gorgeous i've had this for absolute years but never really used it for anything so you're going to need two pieces of fabric one for the front one for the back you're going to want to put these right sides together so that the pattern is sandwiched in between and then on one of the sides you're just going to want to draw around your pattern so that you know where to sew so with that pattern all done out you're going to want to work out where you're going to like leave the gap where you're going to hand stitch so i usually find like the flattest point so i'm going to start um kind of just below the nose there and just there because that's like the flattest kind of section for around about an inch so before stitching this together i am going to take a little bit of twine i'm going to pop that on the inside so it's poking in and that is like in the right place is where the pig's tail would come out i'm going to use a little pin and just pin that into place so then when i'm sewing it won't budge but i'm just making sure that the majority of it is inside of the pig because when we turn it the right side way around it that's going to be on the outside and we've got a little bit of extra room to play around with so i am going to be taking this over to my sewing machine stitching from one of these points that i've just marked out got to be stitching all the way around then what i'll be able to do is just cut off the excess i'll then turn it the right size way round i will then stuff the shape and just hand stitch that shut okay this is definitely more pig shape i now have it all sewn and everything with this little tail it does look a little bit ratty but what you can do is actually just tie this in a little knot and then it kind of like looks like a little pigtail do you know what i mean so it looks like it's curly at least in my mind it does with the cow i did just like leave a long strip and then just tied a tight knot in the end so that's the difference on the tails between the cow and the pig we're getting a two in one on this diy so for the ears what you're going to want to do is take another little bit of that fabric and you're going to want to draw out a nice little triangle just with a pen you're then going to want to stitch around that so that you have your little triangle pieces kind of 
stitch closed and then you're just going to want to turn that right size way round. So once you have those stitched you'll then be able to stitch those down into place. I'll just be hand stitching those. You can of course glue them into place. I just prefer stitching myself but just like use a little ladder stitch just to kind of stitch them down and attach them to the body of the decoration. Okay so with the ears all attached you're just going to need to kind of like add a little loop to the top to make your obviously decoration a decoration. You can just use the cotton kind of thread like we just did on the little candies there but I want to add something a little bit extra so I'm just gonna like sew on a little twine loop and on the twine loop I've also added a little jingle bell I just really like that can you see that oh I should have done it a little bit further back <laughs> um but now it's time to kind of decorate the pig so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some ribbon around the belly here so I have this ribbon this is like my favorite Christmas ribbon I literally buy it in bulk because I love it so much and I'm just gonna wrap that around the center and top a little bow because I just I love incorporating this checkered ribbon in things so you can leave it free but I don't want this ribbon to I do like that rustic touch but not for this little bit there so yeah little kind of bow around its belly to add its eyes on you have got like multiple choices so you can obviously paint it on like I am with a little dot and towards acrylic paint or you can do a little kind of French knot with stitching or like add some beads on for example I'm just just paint it on because I like that minimal kind of effect when I'm doing something like this. So with the little eyes on, the little pig decoration is complete. Yes, we have a pig. I think this will look gorgeous in a really nice like light pink shade as well, like a proper pig. But the pig is now done look at that so now i have a pig and a cow <laughs> the third diy for today is going to be of these candy canes going to make myself another one because like i said i'm going to be using all of these on my christmas tree and i want another one so i thought i'd film it show you it including the diy we count this as the third or the fourth i'm going to go the fourth the pig and the cow they are separate entities so the candy cane these are really really simple to make again i would totally encourage you to make your own pattern to do this i just drew around on a little bit of card i say i drew around i just sketched this out and i made it a lot thicker than what i wanted the candy cane to be do you see how that translates because when you stuff things they end up being like skinnier so if i like put that right up against it you can see that I've lost almost like a third of the width so I've made this pattern quite thick and what I'm going to do is just draw around on the same stripy fabric that I used on the like little candies as well as this like candy cane and I'm going to actually angle it so that it's kind of like diagonal so it looks kind of like a candy cane do you want to know something really quite um like satisfying is the fact that all the like lines have joined up all the way around i love that it's almost like a chevron side um but you don't have to do that but it pleases me you know so with the striped fabric i've just got this much just left here you're going to want to just angle this like i said so that the kind of pattern is just yeah on there at an angle <laughs> and that the stripes are going diagonal again you don't have to do this but i think it just gives like just a little bit of extra interest to the piece rather than it just going horizontally or vertically do you know what i mean does that does that actually make sense i think it makes sense <laughs> hopefully it makes sense to you guys but yeah so i'm gonna place this so that the pattern is going diagonal up the kind of long end and then I'm just going to draw around that with my pen again I'm going to double that up and then stitch around that on my sewing machine again just in the same way that I did before so with the candy cane all stuffed um you just want to stitch up that hole that you kind of left so when stuffing I did actually start stuffing in that section there so I went all the way around stuffed until around about there stuff from there to there and then added a big bulk of like stuff in it in there so it is protruding a little bit but as we stitch it should just encapsulate that all inside and then not also be floppy if you under kind of stuff where you're stitching the like stitching of the hand stitching this <laughs> will be quite a lot 
like more visible but if you make sure it's fully stuffed and you have like quite a bit even just poking out by the time you pull that shut it will just secure it in and you won't be able to tell because there's no like indents or anything like that so yeah just it looks like there's way too much stuff in there but trust me you're better off having a little bit too much than a little bit too less because it does become really evident you can just poke it in with the tip of your needle there hopefully these tips help him by the way um and what i find is if there is a few threads after all like a few little kind of twirly whirly bits of the polyfill still sticking out what you can do right is just trim it down with your scissors like so just like that Right, just get rid of the fuzz. If that doesn't get rid of it, just get your lighter. And if this is only like a couple of them, just like do that and it will just get rid of those excess bits. Obviously do that with care. You don't want to set anything on fire, but there's just a little tip there for you. So I'm just going to stitch this shut. So you can obviously leave your candy cane decoration like that if you want it nice and simple. I'm going to add a little um, twine bow to mine like I did on the other one, just to add that little bit of extra detail, the little bit of extra rustic touch on there. Um, I would usually use a ribbon or something, but I don't want it too fancy and I don't want to add too much more pattern maybe a nice cream ribbon or something like that will work nicely but I'm I think I'm just going to stick to the twine because I've really liked how that looked on the other one so just tying that off getting a little bit of twine in again like the same twine that I used on the pigtail on the cow tail and I'm going to do it the opposite way around to this candy cane so that they will be kind of like so like a little pair that would be so cute so just literally just grabbing the twine wrapping it round tying a little bow on there so this is also over where i just hand stitched as well so this is going to take away from the fact that there is a little bit of hand stitching in there if you're not very good at hand stitching this will just take away that focus you know if you do make a mistake if it does look a little bit rough just adding extra bits on will kind of yeah just take the eye away from it because when you look at this now you're going to be looking at the little bow on there um let's tighten that a little bit more oh there we go you can just glue this into place if you want to but if i want to remove this at a later date then i could just kind of slip it off if i leave it like that look at this oh <laughs> two little matching ones so again with the little loop at the top of this i just added a little bit of thread through just to make it nice and simple because the candy cane is quite bright and garish itself it doesn't need the extra red twine detail on so yeah that's how the candy canes are looking for the fifth fifth decoration we're making today another fabric one i've just kind of made it in the exact same way won't go into too much detail but you basically just want to draw up a pattern cut around it blah 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 we know the drill once you have the base of the decoration it will look a little something i like this it's a goose <laughs> um i actually got pure inspiration basically when i googled pig decorations for the tree and i seen the miley ones i also seen these little geese and i was like you know what i want a couple of geese now to go along with all the other farmyard animals so yeah you just want to make up a white kind of goose shape and once you have that and you little you know bits decorating and stuff i just kind of want to show you how i would decorate this up like those ones that i've seen so i'm going to wrap the same ribbon around the kind of neck that i used on the pig and the cow bellies i love this ribbon isn't it so gorgeous just a lovely tartan you can just like obviously use whatever one you want to you could just put it in any color really couldn't you so yeah just do whatever you want so i'm just going to tie it in a knot and then like loop it down i am just going to get a little bit of hot glue and just hot glue those little bits down into place there we are so those two bits now they look like they're kind of loosely tied but they are also attached so i'm just going to snip off the excess off those and i'm just going to use my lighter again just to seal those ribbons in like so look at that nice little thing now you're probably thinking how am i going to get the beak and stuff on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint it on i think the miley ones actually do have them painted so yeah i've seen them in store before and i'm pretty sure that they're painted on so this is the royal Atlantical craft of choice acrylic paint yellow okra i've had this for ages but it's the perfect kind of tone that i am looking for like a goldeny rustic tone so what i'm gonna do is just paint this on i'm gonna be really really kind of like 
um oh, i don't know like light with it i don't want to put loads and loads on i just kind of also want to see the texture of the fabric through so you might want to water this down a tiny bit you don't want to water it down so much that the paint will kind of you know bleed or anything through the kind of fabric because obviously we do want this to look like a little beak and we're going to use the same color on the beak as the feet look at that already oh my goodness this is this is adorable oh i love this so much i can't believe i'm just gonna have like a farm tree oh people are gonna be like chelsea what on earth are you thinking if you've made it this far into the video by the way what um theme are you having on your tree or for christmas this year like, are you just doing a colored theme for example are you doing like reds or silvers or maybe even blush pink or anything just let me know i would genuinely love to know so with the uh beacon look at that that is already looking adorable i'm also going to paint this little section here so this little rectangle and that's going to kind of like give the effect of the feet i think i am going to make the pig in a pink as well so if you want to see me make that i will probably just share that on my instagram maybe in a vlog or something so um i would recommend following me over there still <laughs> um joining me because i do share behind the scenes of stuff all the time especially what i'm up to and crafts i'm working on so i will leave the link to that down in the description um but yeah oh look at that that is adorable that is just what i wanted I cannot believe that just turned out so well this is the perfect color pretty sure i said this yellow okra definitely give that a whirl with the eyes i'm going to put that the same way that i put it on the little pig the cows and all sorts just with the black acrylic this is genuinely just black it says black on it and uh, it's by the same brand again i do use this brand i use the pbo one and i also use the arteza premium ones that just because i have them i actually really like the finish they give they kind of like dry a little bit shiny but these ones the royal analical ones are really easy for me to get hold of and they are super duper cheap so i do have a pretty even collection of pbos of the arteza ones that i was gifted and these ones but like i actually genuinely really like them i'm gonna go there i've done it now it's always so risky but where to put the eye okay i'm happy with that look at that isn't that the cutest thing so obviously i need to set that you know aside to dry now but i think it's worked out really really well oh look at that goose <laughs> christmas is coming the goose is scared of that <laughs> oh i love that that's so sweet just gonna put the other eye on the other side you can go there oh oh we did it oh that is absolutely adorable i love it so yeah this is how the goose has turned out love this gonna make myself another one of these off camera in a second but look at that goose decoration how a country christmas is that absolutely love this along with the little candies along with the candy canes up here along with the pigs we're having a country candy christmas in my kitchen this year along with like the carousel bits and all the other little things that we've decorated we've got you know the gingerbread sign we've got the gingerbread men that are going to be going up i think i'm going to be decorating next week or the weekend after so stay tuned for those videos videos because i will be filming them thank you so so much for joining me and i will see you very soon for another video thanks so much and i will yeah catch you on the next one bye from me and my goose <laughs>